Welcome back to Baller's World Live. This is your host, James Ship, and we have a special, special guest in the studio with us today. Former NBA star, Philly legend, Black Magic, Mr. Lewis Lloyd. How you doing, sir? I'm great. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, thank you. My first question is, how did you get the nickname Black Magic? I get the nickname Black Magic. Um, I used to disappear in a lot of situations <laughs> now you see me now you don't you think you will, but you know you won't so <laughs> so in a lot of situations i should just disappear so like where's lewis at he done disappeared he done, so he done disappeared that's basically you. how i got that that's dope <laughs> I, I like and that I do, and i do a lot of great moves on the back on the basketball court when I was playing, so I heard I heard I heard a story about you doing some two hand reverse situation with Charles right there, and you were just like, ugh. Yeah, you you were known for just just kind of going off out of nowhere. Well, you know, basketball is my passion. You know, my first passion is my is my mom you know what i mean i love her to death she's shout out to mom she's she, she's deceased right now but anyway you know we got to give um we got to thank god for everything first you know what i mean god is the greatest and without him we could never achieve anything that we trying to achieve man say that twice that's absolutely and that's and again beautiful. shout out to moms because you know i love my mom i love my mom hey mom Hey, mom. <laughs> hey, mom. God bless and God bless with your mom, man. Now, um, you were drafted by the Golden State Warriors, but you became uh, most famous and and eventually infamous for being a Houston Rocket, correct? Correct. And uh, yes. what what could you share with us a little bit about your journey in in the NBA? Um, well, my journey in the NBA, I played against the greatest. You know, I mean, we're looking at. Michael Jordan, me looking at Charles Barkley, me looking at, um, I played with Akeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson, I played against Bernard King, played with the New York Knicks, I played with him at, um, um, in Golden State, mm. uh, at Golden State Warriors, you're looking at Michael Ray Richardson, you looking at playing against Michael um, uh, Cooper, that Ooh. played with uh, with the, with the L.A. Lakers. You're looking at Magic Johnson playing with Magic. We beat them in the Western Conference Finals in 1986 for the Western Conference Championship. We beat them four games to one. They eventually hey. played. They eventually <laughs> to play Larry Bird and them in the championship, which we lost. Uh-huh. But, you know, I'm going to give kudos out to uh, Larry Bird and them. They had a great team back then. But, you know, it was something that I experienced. You know, a lot of guys that played in the NBA never even got the chance to play in the NBA Finals. Right. So, but I didn't win it, but, you know, I got to experience it. Oh, yeah. And um, playing playing with Houston, Akeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson, we had the Twin Towers. Um, Our point guard was Zion Lucas, Rodney McCray. I was starting two guard. Um, shoot, it was one of the um, greatest highlights of my life playing with playing with those guys and um, just to be playing in the NBA Finals and, and playing with them in Houston. It was it was awesome. Man, you 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 played with and and been a part of some of the greatest franchises and players uh, of all time. I mean, you the stories. That you probably have are 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 probably infinite. They're probably crazy, man. Yeah, they uh, they astronomical. Now, uh, Ber- Bernard King um, played with the New York Knicks. He played with Golden State. Man, I used to go up against him every day. So, you know, I tell everybody about my game. I got a little bit of. Uh, uh, basketball moves from every player that I ever played against in the NBA, like yeah, and, Adrian, and like Adrian Dantley. And, and you went to high school. Bernard King, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, I mean, every Bob McAdoo, Bob Love. I can go on and on and on and on. And, and um, it, it was just a. Uh, it's nothing like playing in the NBA because once you um, work hard to fulfill your dreams. 
and and my my ultimate goal was to play in the NBA, and so I achieved that, and it was and it was it was um, one of the greatest feelings in the world to know that I was a part of of all of that. Now, now, for our listeners that aren't familiar uh, with your story, yeah. if you could mm-hmm. if you could shine some light, and I know you have a you have a documentary that shines light on it as well, um, mm-hmm. on the 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 great skill that you had that got you to that level and then the inevitable uh, i mean the the issues that led to the the end of your career if you will mm-hmm. the infamous mm-hmm. end of your career if you could share that with our listeners that'd be great well you know the end of my career was me going overseas but you know we right. had a lot of ups and downs I had a lot of ups and downs. I went to the heights of heaven and to the depths of hell. I had a little problem with drugs and, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But, you know, you, um, you I'm taking it one day at a time right now. And, um, you know, my my um, dealing with that type of stuff, you know, I, want, I always want to share with, share with whoever listening, kids, grown-ups, you know, family, whoever listening is, um, you know, we learn from our, our mistakes, and um, we we take it one day at a time, and we just keep it moving. You know, I mean, every life is special, and when you got blessings and and, and you pull treasures out the universe, God is the greatest, and, and He gonna um, make sure everything is good in your life once you. Know, make the right choices in life and as long as you make the right choices in life you're going to be alright because everybody goes through things every day in their lives absolutely I mean I'm sitting here and I'm like man that's such a good message that's such too. a good message to really sit and listen to because I think sometimes people at least I don't know I feel like today forget forget about the little things and forget about the people around them and they wouldn't be where they are today without support and help and, and God and all those things so I appreciate everything you just said. Um, what was it like being honored by the Houston Rockets in April for you? Oh, man, that was awesome. They flew me in, first class, <laughs> round trip ticket, put me up in the hotel, paid for everything, and they even gave me a check. And it was beautiful. Like, at halftime, no, at, at the end of the second quarter of the game, we was playing, they was playing Detroit. I did an interview um, prior that day before I got there. And, you know, they had me on a big screen, on the big screen of the second quarter. So I did my little interview, and I was talking, and they were showing a lot of highlights of me playing and and saying a lot of positive things. But um, at the end of it, um, um, they they, – um, they told me, you know, to say what well, they wanted me to say all the positive things which I did about Ralph Sampson, Kim Lajman, um, John Lucas, Mitchell Wiggins, and then after all of all of that was over, you know, they I stood up and they gave me a, a standing ovation, which was beautiful. Oh, that's great. You that's know amazing. what I mean? And it was nothing. It was. It was very gratifying for me to uh, for them to do that for me, and it was a beautiful um, day in Houston that day. And that's that's wonderful, man. And, and we had Coach Lucas on the show a, a little while ago, yeah. and uh, and and it was great. I mean, and 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 for you, what what is it that you're up to now? Where where are where can our uh, fans and listeners? Uh, either keep up with you or or uh, how can they stay connected to what you have going on? Okay, well, um, I'm, I'm writing a book on my life story. I'm doing a documentary on my life story. And, um, you know, I'm a part of um, this company that's called... Um, the uh, original Brother Jack's gourmet sauce. You know, I don't, um, and and pig burger. It's, I'm a, I'm a, I got ten percent of the company. I'm mm. uh, yeah, I got ten percent of the company. Um, Check Ball Magazine. My boy Latell Vaughn. He on this Black Magazine. I got ten percent in that. 
And um, I'm doing a little bit of, uh, well, the agent thing, you know, helping guys get overseas, helping guys get in college, and, and, go, and going to the community and, and talking to the, the um, children and, and whoever else want to listen. You know, we're giving a positive message on, you know, trying to make the right choices in life and do the right thing. Mm. And, um, you know, um, I'm I'm just trying to do um, anything positive in order to help the young, the children first because they are the future, for one thing. Absolutely. You know? and, and and then everybody else, you know, if, if you've grown, if you made mistakes, we can always um, you always get a second chance in life, and and let's and all and all the children need is some love in their life, and all grown ups need is to be, um, you know, you can't you can't teach a grown up too much because they already grown but you still got to give them a positive message message because they're going through something just like everybody else you know um you could i know everybody is probably living from check to check if you're not a basketball player a lawyer a doctor or somebody that's important that's making a lot of money it's it's hard out here today in these streets and uh you know it's all about being around positive people and trying to make the right choices in life um, to better your life. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Let, let me just say, thank you so much for being on the show with us, man. We really appreciate yes, you being thank here. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, I got to tell y'all one more thing for yeah, I go for it. Go for it. Go me. for it. No, I before you disappear that. on us, Black Magic. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I got to tell y'all one more thing. I went to school. I mean, I went to the same school as Will Chamberlain. You did, right? Overbrook. Okay, Will Smith. Yeah. The first black astronaut. So, you know, a lot Ooh. of guys that I come up with and I've been around, we come from um, Thoroughcloth. And, um, you know, Will is one of the greatest actors in the world right now. Will yeah. Chamberlain, I, I say he's the best basketball player that ever done it. Oh, on I, the I mean, hundred percent. Agree, agree. And you got, and slam that. You got Will Smith on the playground is where he spent most of his days. You know, chilling yeah, out, well, maxing, relaxing, well, all cool. I'm a, well, I'm a part of uh, I'm, the playgrounds. I'm one of the greatest. Um, uh, it's a list that the greatest all-time playground players ever in the history of time. I'm on that list. You on that Lewis list, Black, man. Lewis Black Magic Lord is on that <laughs> list. Black Magic. My man. And don't forget that I, I came out of L.A. and turned to Crenshaw League. Playground I, extraordinary. I won a championship. I won a championship in Dominguez Hills in Compton, California back in 81. And, um, you know, where y'all at the Sunshine State, the city of angels is beautiful. Well, I love it out there. I love it. Brother Had a Lord. great time out there. Great experience. We gonna have to do, man. We gonna have to have you yeah, back. We on love LA too. Because we love LA, <laughs> but, but I love coming to you. I'm coming out there to be on y'all show live. Y'all yeah, man, that's what we need. You okay. gotta come so out here and show be me live. some moves, man. So because so because I'm so the playground goat out deal. here, man. So I'm gonna need you to come out, show me some moves, man. We gonna have to. We gonna have to make. We'll set that up. We'll set that up. But everybody, Lewis. Black Magic Lloyd, thank you again, thank man, you. so much. And and before we go, everybody, we got Young Licks, get the check. DJ Mystery, take them out. Shout out to Ballers World. Download the app. Thank you. You're with a Z. With a Shout Z. out to ESPN. Ballers World with a Z. Shout out to Anta America. ESPN2 is a promo code for 30% off. And last time, thank you, Lewis Lloyd. Thank you, Kwame Alexander. Thank you, Israel Doofus. Doofus, Doofus, please don't knock me out. <laughs> Doofus, please don't hit me. Okay, DJ Mystery, go ahead and take him out with that skirt. Kershaw got beats. Yeah. What? Oh, 